This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on guys? This is Vinyl Lake Puma. And today I'm back with another Fallout 4 Top 5. Today we're going to be looking at the Top 5 Best Unique Heavy Guns and Weapons in Fallout 4. Now of course, heavy weapons consist of mini guns, Gatling lasers, missile launchers, fat man launchers, and other weapons like the broadsider and the junk jet. So without further ado, let's start the countdown. Number five, the Ashmaker minigun. To be honest, I reluctantly put this minigun on this list as I feel there are better heavy weapons that you can find by killing random legendary enemies. However, since this is a list of unique heavy weapons, I figured I'd go ahead and I'd include it. Now, what's cool about this minigun is that it deals fire damage to enemies, and if the base damage was a lot higher, I'd definitely recommend the Ashmaker to anyone. Um, it's definitely an improvement over the regular miniguns that you can find throughout the game. However, I do feel it is outclassed by other weapons, uh, maybe like a random Gatling laser or a random legendary minigun that you could find in the game. Now, in order to obtain the Ashmaker, you need to either betray Bobby during the Big Dig side quest, or you need to kill Fahrenheit and loot it off her corpse. Number four, the Broadsider. So this is a unique heavy weapon that allows you to fire cannonballs at enemies, and in my opinion, the broadsider functions a lot like a regular missile launcher with less range. Um, unlike many other unique weapons in the game, uh, the broadsider does not have a non-unique variant. While I don't think it's insanely powerful, it is a lot of fun to use, and you'll notice that it does more damage in VATS than you might expect. The Broadsider is obtained during the last voyage of the USS Constitution side quest, and you get this by siding with Captain Ironsides, the sentry bot. Number three, the Final Judgment. The Final Judgment is a unique Gatling laser that is obtained by either siding with the Railroad or the Institute and can be looted from Elder Maxon once you defeat him as a part of both of those quest lines. What's nice about Gatling lasers in general is that they don't use fusion cells and instead use fusion cores, which is basically the item that's used to power your power armor. Um, of course, this allows you to save your fusion cells for your other weapons. Now, this gun is going to provide you with slightly better DPS than a regular Gatling laser as it fires 25% faster and reloads 15% faster. I'd say I'd agree with a lot of people that it does suck that you have to kill Elder Maxon in order to get this thing. Number two, the party starter. This missile launcher is my favorite heavy weapon to use in the game as you can expand the magazine size as well as add an automated targeting system which greatly increases your rocket's accuracy. After all, who doesn't like homing missiles? The Party Starter's special effect allows you to deal 50% more damage to human enemies, making it perfect for going up against many of the enemies that you might encounter throughout the game. You can obtain the Party Starter by purchasing it from Cleo in Good Neighbor. While it is pretty expensive, it's a fantastic weapon once you've fully upgraded it. And finally, number one, the Big Boy Fat Man Launcher. I would say that this is probably the best weapon in all of Fallout 4, as it's not only a fat man launcher, but it also fires two projectiles for the cost of one. While you can't perform a lot of modifications to it, you can modify this weapon to fire Mervs, which will virtually one-shot anything in front of you. Of course, the downside to this is that it's very easy to kill yourself with this gun, and it can be very difficult to gauge the proper distances when trying to hit enemies. The big boy is very expensive, and while I'd say it's not very versatile, it's without a doubt um, that it is a very powerful gun. Now, if you want to get the big boy, you can purchase it from Arturo in Diamond City. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular top five. If you like this top five, please be sure to leave a like. And as always, take care and I'll see you all next time.